What's up guys, now I assume that you've clicked on the video because you do want to create stunning websites and with the Hostinger website builder it's truly easier than ever to actually do exactly that. Hostinger is a reliable and cheap option for website designing and you are also going to get tons of different ways of actually customizing your website. So to get started simply just head over to Hostinger, I will leave you a link for that down below. Now actually navigate to the website builder function right here and then as you can see Hostinger is going to have two different options. Now just because of the great AI features I would actually recommend you to go for the slightly more pricey option which is also what I'm going to do as for this video. Now because websites in general are a more long term game, obviously the longer you are going to sign up to Hostinger, the more money you are actually going to save in return. And as for the 12 months, 24 months and 48 months option, you are actually also going to get a free domain for the first year. Now as I'm just going to build up an example store, I'm going to go for the one month option. And by the way, Hostinger does have a 30 day money back guarantee, so if you don't end up liking Hostinger, you can actually get your money back, but I'm sure you will like it. You will then have to continue by creating an account and actually paying for your plan. Once registered, you are going to be redirected onto this site right here, where you are going to have the option to either use one of their pre-made templates, or you can actually also just use the AI website builder. Now I would actually recommend you to go for the AI option, as this is going to give you a more customized and tailored website. So I'm just going to click on start creating, and I'm now going to put in my examples. Once you have put in your details, you can then actually get started generating your website. This should take a couple of seconds and after some time you are going to be redirected onto the actual website builder. This is now going to look something like this for me. In my case, I did just say that we do have an Italian restaurant. So in this case, we are going to see the authentic Italian cuisine. We are going to see the slider, happy customers and so on. Now to now actually get started editing the site, we will have to click on the top right and now we can actually go ahead and change this up. First of all, we can actually change the text right here. So I'm just going to uh, rename this to family owned Italian restaurant. So as you can see, this actually would be a little bit too large. So we can now actually also change the font size right here. I'm going to change it to 72. I think something like this does flow better. We can then actually also change the image right here on the right. We can either edit the image with our own custom image or alternatively we can actually also use the AI image generator to get us some images ready for our website. Now additionally if you do want to actually change the position of some of the elements you can do so by using this grid which you can see in the background. Now this is super useful for actually um, changing the place of different kind of elements and generally you, I will just leave it at the default but you can really get creative with this. For example this button I'm not going to leave the gap like it is on the default I'm rather going to actually put it right under the subheading. Alright, perfect. We can now actually also go ahead and change up the menu right here on top. To do so, head over to pages and navigation and right here you are then going to see the main navigation bar which is also going to be visible. If you now would want to actually add a new page onto this, you could do so. So in my case, I'm just going to actually create a new page and we do then have different kind of templates. So we do have an about template, contact template, services, privacy policy and so on. I'm just going to, I guess, use this blank template right here and I'm then just going to rename this to garden and now the page URL is also automatically going to be updated accordingly. So now we do have the garden right here instantly visible in our navigation bar. However, let's for example say that we do want to now actually create a new page called outdoor area. And let's say that we do actually want to both show the terrace as well as the garden under the outdoor area. Well, this is also achievable. Simply just drag this under outdoor, then to the right. And now do the same with the garden. And now we do have this kind of drop down menu, which is going to be clickable. And now we can actually go ahead and change the site. We can also go ahead and actually open up the terrace right here, which is then going to be updated accordingly. So let's now actually head back to the main menu. And now let's actually go ahead and let me show you how to customize the button. First of all, you can edit the button in general. You can change the button text, the link, as well as if the button should actually open the tab in a new tab. We can then actually also change the style of the button. We can do this for both the normal button, which is going to be visible right now, as well as the hover button. 
In this case, I'm just going to actually add a corner radius onto this, just so that this is going to be a little bit more rounded up. However, let's for example say that you do want to change the overall style of your website, so not only the button right here. Well, you can actually also do this within a few clicks. To do so, just head over to Website Styles right here, and then you are going to see the default colors which are going to be used. You are going to see the fonts as well as buttons, animations, and you can actually change this. For example, you can say that, okay, we are going to edit the text to another font. So let's for example do this, just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to change this to this one, although I think the normal one actually was a little bit better. Either way, you can actually also change this like this. Now, generally the AI does actually a great job when it comes to actually picking the colors and picking the different kind of fonts for your website. But when it comes to the actual media, so the actual things that is going to be displayed on your website, you will obviously have to update this with your own information. So in this case, we would then actually have to change the text right here if this isn't correct and if this isn't truly what we are embrace at our Italian restaurant for example. Now the same goes for this right here. Generally speaking the AI does a pretty good job but you will actually also have to take notice that this should be genuine and that you shouldn't just um, use anything which isn't really true for your business. Now if you would now actually want to add new sections you can also do so by actually going over the tons of different section templates which hosting offers. As you can see they truly do offer a, a template for anything you could imagine. And alternatively, we can actually also create a section with AI. So I once again added a description. I'm now going to create this and this is then going to take a couple of seconds. And then we do have our custom AI section added. Now in this case, this isn't really what I've asked for. So I would then have to go ahead and actually customize this. However, once again, using their intuitive drag and drop editor, this is actually going to be pretty straightforward and pretty simple to do. So in this case, I would just have to rearrange all of the elements. And as you can see, this truly isn't hard. And this truly is a great way of actually designing a website. Now, one thing which is also super important, this is that you will have to actually make sure that your website is well optimized for mobile. Now, usually by default, this is actually already done. However, let's for example, look at this. Okay, da, 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 da. in this case, everything does look perfect right away. However, still make sure to actually make sure to actually double check this as essentially most people nowadays are going to use your website on the mobile. Now, basically the upside of Hostinger is that because of their great AI tools, these are actually going to do all of the heavy lifting for you. And therefore you don't really have to do as much manual design work as on other Hostinger and website providers. Now make sure to additionally also go over the other settings right here. These are going to be the default settings like Favicon, Logo and so on. That's basically it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to sign up with Hostinger using the link down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe.